Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the two counter circuits, and here we have been given that the propagation delay of the each flip flop in the given circuit is equal to 20 nanosecond, while the propagation delay of the each end gate is equal to 5 nanosecond. So here we have been asked to find the maximum allowable operating frequencies for these two counters. So first, let us see this counter A. So if you closely observe, then this is basically a 4-bit ripple counter because here the output of the one flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the next stage and to be precise, it is the 4-bit up counter. So in case of the ripple counter, since the output of the one flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the next stage, so as we move from the LSB of the counter to the MSB side, then the propagation delay of the each flip-flop will get added. And because of that, for this ripple counter, the oral propagation delay is equal to n times TPD, where the n is the number of flip-flops in the counter. So we can say that the maximum operating clock frequency is equal to 1 divided by this n times TPD. So in this case, this n is equal to 4, and the propagation delay of the each flip-flop is equal to 20 nanosecond. That means the f clock maximum is equal to 1 divided by 80 nanosecond and that is equal to 12.5 megahertz. So similarly, now let us find the maximum operating frequency for the counter B. So if you see this counter, then this is basically a synchronous counter because here all the flip-flops receives the clock at the same time. And if you closely observe, then this is basically a 4-bit synchronous binary counter. So in the recent video of the synchronous counters, we have already calculated the maximum operating frequency and the maximum propagation delay for this synchronous counter. So here, since all the flip-flops receive the clock at the same time, so once they receive the stable input, then they will respond to that input immediately. So in this case, if you see, then this third flip-flop will receive the stable input after the propagation delay of this AND gate. Likewise, this fourth flip-flop will receive the stable input after the propagation delay of the two end gates. And once they receive the stable input, then after the propagation delay of the flip-flop, they will generate the stable output. That means the last case will take the maximum time to generate the stable output. And that corresponds to the maximum propagation delay of the synchronous counter. So this maximum propagation delay will decide the maximum operating clock frequency for the synchronous counter. And as I said, in general, for the end bit synchronous binary counter, this propagation delay can be given by this expression. That means the maximum propagation delay is the propagation delay of the flip-flop plus n minus 2 times the propagation delay of the end gate. So here, this n corresponds to the number of flip-flops in the counter. Therefore, for this 4-bit synchronous binary counter, this maximum propagation delay is equal to 20 nanosecond. That is the propagation delay of the flip-flop plus 2 times the propagation delay of the end gate and that is equal to 5 nanosecond. That means if we see the oral propagation delay, then that is equal to 30 nanosecond. And from this propagation delay, we can easily find the maximum operating clock frequency and that is equal to 1 divided by 30 nanosecond, which corresponds to 33.3 megahertz. So from this we can say that for the first counter, the maximum operating clock frequency is equal to 12.5 MHz, while for the counter B, the maximum operating clock frequency is equal to 33.3 MHz. That means we can say that for the given question, this C is the correct answer.